What's up? Welcome back to Studio I News. Uh, I'm Cody. And I'm Caleb. We have a lot of announcements. Let's get started. All right, seniors, Studio I staff is putting together a senior video. You might be approached, so if you're approached, do something silly for the camera or have a friend do it with you if you're too embarrassed. Uh, show off your talent or just wave to the camera, but please participate. Uh, promise tomorrow from 8 to 11 p.m. at the Palace Theater at Adventureland. Uh, tickets are, in, are on sale now. You must uh, buy them before 3 p.m. in the main office. And while you are there, please sign up for Pearl's Palm, uh, which is in the Blakefield House from midnight to 3 a.m. Uh, there will be fantastic prizes there, so don't miss out. All juniors and seniors will attend post-prom, even if you do not attend prom. Uh, your senior class photo will be taken on Wednesday, May 1st in the North Gym at 8 a.m. before you head out to the can drive. Uh, order forms are available in the main office. Uh, Tim McConnell Photography will be taking formal and candid pictures at prom this year. Uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to call the studio at 515-961-2781 Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 1 and 2 to 6 and Saturday morning from 9 to 12 or email tim at Mc timmcconnell.com. Uh, who is running away from something? Uh, there are fugitives everywhere, Paris, New York, and even Small Rock and even right here in Indianola. Don't miss out, South Pacific next weekend, you need to know who is running away from what. And speaking of South Pacific, let's go to Sam Dusenberry for a special feature on the musical. Hi, I'm Sam Dusenberry, Studio I News. Are you curious to know what the musical is this year? What it's about? Who's in it? Who's directing it? Well, if you keep watching Studio I News on Channel 12, we'll tell you just that and more. South Pacific is written by Rogers and Hammerstein. We have cast some wonderful um, characters from our from our vocal department, from our music department, and the leads for the for the songs. Emile De Beck with Christian Hayden. South Pacific takes place during World War II, and my character Emile De Beck moves to, is a French plantation owner, and he moves into the Pacific. And there he meets a young nurse from the south named Nellie Forbush who is stationed. And they fall in love. And Nellie learns that in a past relationship, Emile de Beck had children with an island woman and she must overcome her prejudice that was very common in that time from people. Cable with Luke Hasty. I'm Luke Hasty. I'm a senior in Indianola High School. I got a play, I got the lead as Lieutenant Joseph Cable in the musical South Pacific. Uh, Lieutenant Joseph Cable flies into the island where all the sailors are stationed and, uh, and uh, has an assignment that he has to uh, fulfill. Um, but while he's there, he uh, travels to an island called Valley High and falls in love with an uh, island woman. Um, Joseph Cable is just a regular sailor guy who just comes to the island and uh, participates in all the island fun. Billis with Tommy Goodale. Hey, I'm Tommy Goodale. Um, I play Luther Billis. In the musical of South Pacific. Um, Billis is one of those guys, he's a, he's a sailor, and he's been on the island for a while, and he just he kind of runs the island, um, sort of, he sort of leads the gang. Um, it's a lot of fun playing Billis, you get to act in a lot of different ways. Billis's huge thing is uh, the boar's tooth. Um, there's a boar's tooth ceremonial that happens over on Valley High, and so through a lot of the musical, Billis wants to get over to Valley High. Um, and then he gets surprised when he gets over there. And then the female leads, uh, Hannah Hayden, with, uh, that's, that's Bloody Mary, and she's just wild and crazy. I'm Hannah Hayden, and I play the part of Bloody Mary in the musical South Pacific. Bloody Mary is the crazy Tonkinese woman on the island. So I'm selling things to the sailors as they're getting ready to leave. And I'm my daughter, Liat. I'm trying to get her and one of the lieutenants, Lieutenant Cable, to fall in love. So the whole musical, I'm kind of pushing Lieutenant Cable to her and trying to get them to fall in love. And I hope everyone comes. And Nellie Forbush with Gabby Clutter. My name is Gabby Clutter. I play inside Nellie Forbush, who is a nurse in the Navy. She is, her hometown is in Little Rock, Arkansas. 
and she falls in love with the French planner Emile Bebec, but a bunch of people are giving her reasons not to be in love with him, and I kind of have the same problem as um, Lou Casey does in the show. He plays Cable. So, yeah. So we have a wonderful cast. In addition to that, we have a full set of sailors in the chorus, nurses in the chorus, and island women and men in the chorus, and they're doing a great job. Besides that, we're going to be adding the pit ensemble, and it's a full pit with strings and woodwinds and brass and percussion. So we hope you all come to the show. Well, I'm Sam again. Hope you like it. Come out and watch South Pacific the last weekend of April. Service Corps, your letting slips are due, are due on May 3rd. You must have 40 hours and attend at least eight meetings. You have your next meetings Thursday the 25th after school and Friday the 26th before school. Students that are interested in CNA classes for the fall, see your counselor ASAP. You need to at least be 16. Juniors, if you're planning on taking the PSEO at Simpson or DMAC next fall, see your counselor and make sure you register by May 1st. Competition debate. If students interested in attending the debate camp at Simpson in the summer, please see Miss Jones in room three in 324. Dr. Gardermeyer's app of the week, QBox. Uh, scholarships. Uh, see the guidance office. Males planning to attend the University of Minnesota. Uh, the Curtis L. Carlson Scholarship is available in the guidance office. Uh, Indian Oil Music Booster Senior Scholarship is due April 24th. Uh, Indian Oil Professional Educators of Iowa Book Scholarship uh, for any student due April 30th. 2013 Graduation Week, Friday, May 10th, and Monday, May 13th, will be seniors' final exams. Tuesday, May 14th, is the seniors' last day in the award assembly in the North Gym at 10 a.m. Wednesday night is Baccalaureate. Thursday night, May 16th, is scholarship night in the auditorium with Dollars for Scholars at 5 p.m. and the rest at 7 p.m. Friday, May 17th, graduation practice at 9 a.m. in the Blake Field House. After that, sen senior activity day. Sunday, May 19th, is commencement starting at 1 p.m. in the Blake Field House. And to wrap it up, project graduation takes place that night on Curl Pizza in Urbandale. Now over to Jared, Cordon with Sports. Welcome back to Mort Sports Corner. My name is Kernan Mort, and I am here to host some sports and spice things up a little bit. To start off, let's begin with our Tweet of the Week. This one is written by Yeah Boy Little Bill saying, Been dating this girl for three hours. Hashtag, I think it's love. I would like to personally uh, m uh, mention uh, Mr. Joe Craffle in this one, as he can't hold on to a girlfriend for more than a couple hours. Try a couple minutes. <laughs> Uh, as for the uh, what's trending and the trend of the week, we have prom coming up tomorrow. Let's get uh, hashtag Mort's party going once again. All right, now to undo uh, sports. Boys tennis is off to a good start with Jackson Gifford. Gilford, uh, he is uh, pretty much a demigod, and so go out there and support the Indians and get Jackson autograph while you're at it. As for girls tennis, we have a great girls team this year. Anya Kim is just awesome, and Monica Fenley is worth watching. Uh, to uh, boys track, Keegan Render is back, and you better get out and watch him while it's still free before Drake. Go out and watch a track meet. Uh, as for uh, to the ladies out there, Casey Craffle is also running. He is still single. Girls track, Emma Chittenden and Casey Wiedemeyer are absolutely great to watch as well. You can watch them in the distance, Bentley. Uh, they're, that's a future Drake team as well. Uh, girls soccer, shout out to myself, Kieran, for being the best soccer manager out there. Don't get me wrong. Court. Colby, Tanner, they all do a fantastic job as well, but I really just stand out and 
Speaking of all this, Aaron told me, just want to give you a shout out for prom tomorrow night. So uh, see ya, see you soon. Uh, Where's your prom date, Jared? Well, uh, on the uh, boys, uh, boys soccer, Mr. Stone says I can't just skip over boys soccer, so go watch a uh, boys soccer game, I guess. And uh, last but certainly not boys soccer, trap shoot. <laughs> You're about as much of a sport as NASCAR clubs, so um, no, all jokes aside, the boys soccer team is really, uh, they're out there working hard, the record doesn't really show it, but you know, they're working a lot harder to get better than us here on the Studio I staff. Uh, that's Mort's Sports Corner for the week. I'm Kernan Mort saying thanks for watching. No, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually Jared Cordham, and uh, only he can judge me, so stay shady. Thank you, Jared. Uh, other announcements which are not school-sponsored but are of interest to IHS students. The Europe 2014 trip is on. Uh, for those AP European and AP World History students, enrolled or interested, please mark your calendars for our spring meeting. It's Tuesday, April 23rd at 7 p.m. in room 109. Questions? You can email amy.edwards at indianola.k12.ia.us. Today is a day of silence. Let your silence speak loudly of the support for those who are silenced by bullying or harassment. Uh, please, please respect others. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Protecting children is everyone's business. For more information about local child abuse prevention efforts or service, contact the Child Abuse Prevention Council of Warren County at 515-249-5130 or visit the website shown on the screen. Child Abuse Prevention Fact. If we put a flower down every foot for the child that died due to abuse or neglect, this year the flowers would extend longer than a mile. Seniors, if you did not turn in your photo to Record Herald Senior Edition, you can still submit one, drop it off at, in the main office or to the email shown on the screen. Photos are due by May 1st. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all we got for this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Once again, I'm Cody. And I'm Caleb. Uh, put, put your on Nikes on. And just, just do, do it. it. To make things stay the same. Story.